few months ago, we decided to go ahead and get an elephant backdrop to help elevate what we've been doing with our portrait photography. We've done a lot of work on black uh, backgrounds or white backgrounds and uh, just the, the subtle textures and hints in the backdrop really just give it this elevated look in the photo that we really wanted to try and get um, during this photo shoot and other photo shoots moving forward. So this is kind of our first shoot with that backdrop. You can see we started out with kind of a harsh portrait that's pretty close to what we've been doing in the past. And uh, after that, we moved on to some softer shots, really kind of motivated by some of the stuff done by Dan Winters or Joey L or a lot of those famous portrait photographers that are just wonderful at getting a great expression and a lot of good soft light to uh, accent the face well. You're working with models um, a lot of time it's a lot of good back and forth Paul and Alexa were our two models that we worked with for this shoot at this Houston studio and they're both wonderful models awesome in front of the camera but um, you also want to make sure you give them a direction as to what you're thinking how you're seeing it because you never know how that's gonna go um, before you start shooting so it's always good to kind of lay some groundwork and then start working back and forth to really create something that both you can enjoy and look at afterwards you can see we're shooting tethered. Um, we typically shoot tethered when we're in the studio or anywhere if we can. Um, just allows us to really kind of focus in, look at the pictures at a higher detail level and be able to apply kind of some techniques and contrast to get the image looking close to how it's gonna look after post-production. Now this shot was a lot of fun. Um, so we start off with, like I said, something that we knew we could really nail and then we started working our way up and adding more lights and having a little bit more fun with the images. So instead of just taking a picture of Paul here, we wanted to try and accent the, uh, the mood of the image by adding this hanging um, bulb. And not only that, but we wanted to make sure we showed that, that warmth that you get from those Edison bulbs by adding a CTO gel to that beauty dish and letting that just barely spill over onto his face and then also accent on the backdrop and it really gave it this kind of cool intense um, or cool intensity to the image that um, we probably wouldn't have gotten elsewhere. Here you can see we kind of changed the cones, the tones and the colors in the dress. We wanted to see what it would look like if we added just that little bit of a pop of color into this series uh, with Alexa's dress and with the rose. And uh, we really enjoyed the look, look it gave us, um, just trying to you know mix it up and do something a little bit different with each one of the shots. Now this final shot was something we did just right at the end, tried to squeeze it in. It's based on a shot by Dean Bradshaw, and we kind of put our little bit of a Texas spin on it and used the country song, I'll be here cleaning this gun, to uh, kind of make a fun image with the shotgun there. Um, we did this by taking that Profoto B1, which we love that light, but putting the beauty dish on it, firing it through the window to give us that moonlight or that um, light coming in through the window, that effect. Added just a little bit of fog to give some um, sort of that ethereal intensity and then lit 
Paul's back to just kind of define the model there more and uh, really, really enjoyed what we came out with. One last big shout out to everyone who came out and helped us out here. Paul and Alexa, just awesome models. A huge thanks to our assistant Caroline for the day and of course all the wonderful people at the Houston studio that just keep that place open and available to uh, local photographers.